What's going on, everybody? It's Matt, a.k.a. The Lumberjack Landlord. We're going to do something a little bit different in this video and basically swap seats. Mike's going to be in control. We had talked about a couple of things before we went on air today, and I said, you know what? That's something I think we need to talk about. And he said, all right, I'm going to ask you that question. I said, all right, go for it. So, Michael, the floor is yours. Awesome. So uh, one of the things that I love about you is just how authentic your Instagram page and what you're doing daily for folks is pretty awesome. Hand on product reviews. Uh, it's next level. Thank so you. one of the things I have zero experience and thankfully have zero experience mm -hmm. is what do you do to get prepared for a winter, right? Winters for me in Fresno, California are 65 degrees, maybe 67. I'm not really concerned. I hate you. <laughs> yeah. But in an environment where snow is a really issue, yeah. where freezing pipes is an issue, yeah. where health and safety is an issue of heaters go out in an environment where fuel costs could double, heaven forbid, triple. Yep. And you have just bought a terror, just like a pile of new properties. Yep. How that I just can imagine racing against time. You are racing against mother nature. We are in not only in the stuff you own, but all the stuff you bought. So yep. help me understand how you are getting ready for winter. Cause it's just flat, flat out of consideration. I don't have to think about. It. Yeah. So it was 56 this morning when I woke up. So our winter, your, you know, our Fresno winter is here. Uh, <laughs> it was 56 degrees here uh, this morning. Um, that's a great question. I think that a lot of landlords kind of North of the Mason Dixon have no idea what they're dealing with when it comes to winter time. Yeah. And if this is your first winter as a landlord, buckle up buttercup because it's not going to be very fun. Um, but I think there's kind of four or five areas that we really focus on. The first thing is it's not a matter of if your furnace is going to go out or if you might experience an issue, it's it will yeah. count on the fact that it will. So the one of the things that we do is we actually have an army of um, oil based uh, space heaters. Not okay. ones that blow air, but actually they're fully self-contained. Um, and if you put four or five of those in a house, you can keep it to temp. Okay. And so one of the things that we do is we have about 25 of those. Um, they cost about a hundred bucks. In fact, okay. I'll be, I'll be doing a series on those, a uh, landlord review product uh, review actually this weekend in the new studio. We're actually going to be doing that this weekend. So people can stay tuned and see which ones we use. Awesome. But that particular product is going to cost you about 500, 550 bucks to have five of those, but that will keep a house warm. Largely speaking, if your heat system goes out, you still have electricity, you can plug in, you can set that thing to 70 or 72 degrees. And if your house has any insulation, it will keep it to temp. That's the yeah. And the reason this is important and why you need them is because your only other option, if your, your main unit goes out is you have to put them in a hotel. It's health and safety, right? Correct. Yeah. It can't be, I think the rule in our state is it can't be below 58 degrees. <laughs> yeah. It can't be below 58 degrees for more than 24 hours, or you have to put them in a hotel as health and safety. Yeah. I mean, that's just. And so the nice thing is, is with these systems, you can absolutely keep it in the high sixties, cool. low seventies. So that's step number one. So step what, what I hear yeah. you saying here is if you are a landlord and this is your first winter, Again, I want to be very clear. Go buy these now yes. because they will be out of stock. Guess what you happens? You go buy them when we get our wicked first cold snap and be you gone. won't find the good ones. Buy You'll them now. The more expensive that don't throw off as much heat. It's a few hundred bucks. You can even order them right through Amazon. We've ordered a bunch of them through there. They show up yeah. in boxes. You put them together in five minutes. Okay, Worth their weight in gold. The second okay. thing is people need to understand that it's about the envelope of the house. What I mean by that is it's doors and windows and also the basement. And here we have basements. Okay. And so the thing that a lot of people miss is their windows in many of these older homes, the windows are older windows. So they're not double pane. They're not, they're certainly not triple pane. They're single pane windows. Mm. The problem is, is that because they've been installed for 60, 70 years, there's usually what's called a little bit of slop in those windows. Yeah. So what you want to make sure that you're doing is it's a very simple thing. It's a window, a plastic window kit. Again, that will be in my weatherization landlord, lumberjack landlord review. You'll actually see those things where you can go into any of your units and you can put them on each of the windows and you can buy packs of them. I think you buy packs of four of them for like 10 or 12 bucks. Again, buy them today. Buy now. But well, not even buy now. Buy now and put in now. 
Yeah, this literally, is not the space can, yeah. hitters. This is and get ready. Anybody can do it. You can. It's literally just you stick them up on the on the trim on the window. You hit it with a hair dryer. It shrink wraps. You can still see through the window, no problem. But it Perfect. will stop any air passage, and that's how you get frozen pipes. Okay. Second thing that you need to do, or the the other piece to that, is the basement side of things. On the basement side of things, most people don't understand that when you have a house that's built, you have something called a sill. Mm -hmm. That's the board that runs the perimeter of the house. Mm -hmm. That sill is usually only two pieces of wood nailed together. It's not a whole lot of insular quality. No, no, so no, what you want to make sure that you're doing is they make kits at Home Depot that you can get in there and you can spray it. But your best bet is you can literally take packages of things like Roxol, which is actually a what's called a pressure fit um, uh, material. Mm -hmm. You can actually measure board to board or joist to joist. When you see that joist to joist, it will say 16 inches. It'll say 18 inches. It'll say 24 inches. What you can actually do is you can buy these packets and you can literally take a section of it and just literally pressure fit it and put it up there. Pressure fit it, meaning nails? In, nope. Pressure, truly pressure fit. So you have the two joists here yep. and it comes sized for that. Oh, sorry. Okay, push it up it. in. Got it. Got it. Got it. Push it up in. So you can push that thing up in there. That's going to give you an unbelievable insulation quality and you'll see all of your air stop passing through your basement. And that is, how much is that? Or how much is that? You cost? can do an entire basement of that stuff again for about 500 bucks. Again, buy now, do now. Buy now, do now. Buy now, okay. do now, 100%. Okay. And then really the last thing that you want to make sure that you have in place um, from a product perspective is you want to make sure that you have heat tape. Mm, heat, heat tape. tape. Yeah. So heat tape actually comes with a thermostat on the end and it will kick on anytime those pipes are in danger of freezing. Ah, so you wrap it around. You wrap pipe. it around your pipes. And then you can even, what I do is, is I actually wrap, I, I wrap it around the pipe. Then I put a piece of insulation on top of the pipe okay. and I leave the thermostat, thermostat up. sticking yeah. out. So, so it's not it. actually covered by the, by the, um, by the insulation. Of course. And then we plug it in. Yeah. And then now I don't have to worry that that pipe's going to freeze and that we're going to get a burst pipe. Buy now, do now. Buy now, do now. I mean, again, you do all of that stuff to any unit that you are renting right now. You know, it might cost you a thousand bucks and it's going to save you an absolute fortune if you have a real problem this winter with, you know, yeah. a massive cold snap. We had a cold snap three seasons ago where it was uh, single digits for almost two and a half weeks straight. Yeah. yeah. This is going to save a lot of people. Again, what I heard you say is get the space heaters now have an yes. army or an inventory of them uh -huh. because when you need them, they won't be there. That's right. Uh, you talked about rock salt or peer joist to joist, whatever mm -hmm. that shit is. I mean, this is stuff I don't have to worry about. You talked about heat tape. Yep. Um, and then you talked about some kind of window kit. These are all things that people get. I would ask you, because I know you're going to review these again in your studio, but this video, you never know, may take off. We need to get the links to those and sure. put them in the description. Sure. Uh, because somebody's, again, folks, start. All of these you need to order now. Yes. Three of them you do now. One of them you prepare for the future. Yes, 100%. This is something that's absolutely critical. And then the last thing that you make sure that you do is it's already the third week of October. You need to make sure that you've had your guys in to clean out the system. Yeah. You need one, to know. That's where I thought we were starting, man. I didn't even think about all this other stuff. I'm like, Oh, just get a maintenance guy to come through. No, man. There's all these other things you need the, to do. Jeez. Yeah. The maintenance, the maintenance guy coming through, like largely your heating system is probably going to be okay because it, it ran last year. You used it last year. You didn't have any issues with it last year. If you had issues with it last year and you didn't do anything proactively, shame on you. Mm -hmm. uh, but you'll pay that price because mm -hmm. I can tell you right now, if I needed to get a system changed out, I'm looking Oof. at the first week of November or second yeah. week of November meaning that my system better make it that long. So I would just caution everybody. There's those four precautionary things. A lot of people only think of the, the heat source, i.e. the revenue, and they don't think about the spend. The spend is the four things that I mentioned, which make sure that you keep as much of the money that you make inside the house. And now, one question about these three things, the heat tape, this, that, these are one-time things, or do you have yeah. to do them every winter? So the, um, so the heat tape, nope, is a one-time thing. Okay, cool. The, awesome. um, the window thing is you can do it every year if oh, you okay. want, or you can leave them up there. I don't like leaving them up there because it's kind of ugly. Uh, or oh, so you, you put them on, you take them down. Yep. 
Okay. Yep. And it's and it takes you less than five minutes to yank them. But yep. when you take them down, you have to throw them away. Yep. Okay, great. You buy Usually. them next year. Okay. Yeah, they yeah. can. You can sort of try and reuse them. I don't bother. No, don't yeah. bother. It's it's cheap. Like, Ten like bucks. You said an entire house is like forty bucks. Yeah. So okay. yeah, don't bother. Okay, got it. All right. And then the Roxel is a one-time thing, and you're done. Awesome. So the 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 big key for us is anytime we buy a property, after during that winter, we do all of this stuff to it every single time. That way, this year. I'm not going to get got. I only get got on a new building that I haven't had a winter with yet. And I'll do these things proactively, but usually you'll find your weak spot during the winter time. Of course. I mean, that's yeah. just how it works. That's the way it goes. Oh, heating, heating systems only die when they're running. Yeah. Uh, well, for me, so I kind of have the reverse problem, right? In, in Fresno, Jeez. California, we can go August and have temperatures over 100 every day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so for me, it's the AC. So yeah, we, we you- can count on a couple of units going out every year. And do you keep any of that stuff in stock or you just reprice it every year? Uh, we, again, we like you and your uh, space heaters. We have, um, we have ACs on standby, like room ACs yep. again for the same exact yeah, reason. Put in the window. Yep. Yeah. Well, oh, actually rooms, right. Just like your heater, oh, I gotcha. right. Okay. It's like, Hey, the, 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 the $6,000 roof mount AC is out. Got it's a it. hundred degrees. We won't be able to help you for 10 days. Got it. Here's three room ACs or uh, like they roll around on wheels. Yeah, yeah, yeah the portables. It, yep. It'll keep you cool. It won't be as good mm-hmm. as, as, but you know, it's better than a hotel. And again, these are things we put in, we take back. Sure. Uh, so same thing, right? We have a, I don't know, we must have 20 of them by now. Um, we do, we do the same thing with the heaters. We have people go through before it starts for us. That starts in, in uh, April, May, right? We go back and we check them out. Uh, we do have some, we do have some window ACs just in case, not many, probably four or five. Um, but yeah, the roof mount stuff, it's just, they're too big to store. They're all a little bit different. So agreed. Yeah. Agreed. yeah well, that's why we, for us, a lot of our stuff, we try and standardize. So that's why we have one combi boiler that we use IBC that we have 27 of in the field. Oh, wow. So we have one that we always, we have one just sitting there costs 3000 bucks to have it sit there, but in supply chain, I've learned my lesson. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I might get two of those. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have that sitting there every time. There so I hope this was helpful to everybody. I appreciate you asking the question. Like I said, it was one of those things that right now everything's green in the next three weeks or four weeks, everything will be brown and dead. Mm-hmm. So that's uh winter. And, and then winter. three weeks after that, though, everything will be white. True. Yeah. <laughs> usually we, we start to, if it snows early, it's December. Oh, okay. Um, but then January, February, and March, January, and February, especially that's when you just like buckle up because you have 60 days or, you know, about 60 days in those two months. And you can probably expect anywhere from nine to 12 of those to be snowing, which means you're salting, yeah. you're sanding, you're plowing, you're everything. Yeah. yeah. I Again, 30- I knew this would be a fun topic because these are just yeah. things I don't have to think about. So thank you for doing this. Yeah. Well, thankfully I've never had an air conditioning issue, but, uh, <laughs> but maybe fair so. enough. So Mike, tell everybody where they can find you, my friend. Uh, one rental at a time on YouTube website, all the good stuff. And I do a, a Saturday live stream 8 a.m. for 60 minutes only. Can't be, can't go 90 minutes like Matt, but uh, I'll go 60 minutes. I'm just happy. I'm not doing three hours anymore. As much fun as I was having, I was finishing. I was exhausted. Yeah. It's I was like, tough. and then that one time I did five hours. I was like, that was just dumb. I won't yeah, do that again. Dumb. Yeah. Yeah. So as I always say, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. We'd love to see you come part of the Lumberjack Landlord clan. And uh, we will see you guys Sunday, 1130 a.m. Eastern time on my live stream. And we should be in the new studio doing it from there. Fingers crossed. Kenny, if you're watching this video, I appreciate all the hard work you put in. Silas as well. But let's get it done. So Mm -hmm. please. Yeah, exactly. Mike, thanks so much. Have a great week, everybody. You too.